In my unboxing video of the PlayStation 5, I gave my impressions as a gamer who has blindness of operating the system, using accessibility to get into games and actually just be able to play video games like everyone else with sight. Having blindness like 90% of us, I do still have some remaining vision, very little, which helps me to reference colors and some very blurry visual details. What helps with that is zooming. PS4 had a zoom feature, but the PS5 did not at launch, which I thought was very, very odd. Since then though, a few months after launch, PlayStation did release an update with Zoom and I'll show you how to find it, how to use it, and uh, just how I game as a person who is uh, legally blind. If we don't know each other, my name is James. I'm a creator, I have blindness, and I like to share my experiences with technology, with how tech can help me travel and live an independent life living with blindness. So if you would like to see different with me, welcome aboard. Also, PlayStation PR just sent me some uh, controllers, a red and a black PlayStation 5 controller, which are pretty sweet. Appreciate that, thank you. I'm gonna show you where you find the zoom feature in the operating system. So when you have your PlayStation up, you're gonna actually go to the upper left Right, right, I don't know my directions, I'm sorry. The upper right hand side, and you're gonna hit the gear icon. So when you tap on settings, you're gonna find that there's gonna be a few different options you have. So there's gonna be user guide, accessibility, network, wherever your PlayStation may start. I don't know if it's default for network for everyone. So I'm gonna go to accessibility. It's gonna be one up. Second option, down though from the very top. So we'll tap on accessibility. And the first subcategory is gonna be display. So under display though, is where they added zoom. Very first thing, which is nice. Thank you for not putting that in alphabetical order and hiding it at the bottom. Also, if my PlayStation menu looks a little different, it's because I have bold text, I have large text, I have uh, different kinds of color, contrast settings enabled, so high contrast, things like that. You can always explore these settings. I cover some of them, give my uh, take on them in my initial unboxing and first impressions video. But today we're gonna cover Zoom. You can enable it right from here. When it's enabled, you'll have this diagram at the bottom that will kind of show you how to utilize the Zoom feature, what buttons will do what, uh, but I'll cover all that for you here. When it's enabled, we have a second option that says adjust display area to movement. This is actually gonna be very important. I'm gonna cover this in just a moment because I think this is important to know. And of course you can learn more. This is gonna open up a webpage to Sony's uh, support site and give you a little bit more you know, information on Zoom. So let's talk about how to enable Zoom just off the bat. So if you just wanna get into the Zoom right away, I'm just gonna hit the PlayStation button and the square button at the same time, just like that. And now we're zoomed in. Now this is a pretty subtle zoom. It's not too far into the screen, but by using any of the joysticks, you can use left or right, or even the D-pad, and you can navigate around your screen. At the bottom left-hand side, you have a pretty bold white box that is actually showing you where in the screen you're actually zoomed in. So it's a nice reference to have, that way you're not getting lost, especially if you're new to the PlayStation ecosystem or the menus. If you wanna zoom in even further, you can do that. You can just tap it one more time, the square button and PlayStation button, and you can get into a level two zoom. And there's also a level three zoom, and this is about 25% into the screen, I'd say. Yeah, about 25%. It's, it's gonna take up a quarter of the screen, and, and it's pretty nice to have this level of zoom. Now, the one thing I do wish is that it was customizable, that you could adjust the level of zoom uh, to your liking, like you'd find on iOS, macOS, uh, even the Nintendo Switch. This is doable. And I actually will show you where PlayStation did enable, I think, a better interpretation of zoom in just a moment. And it's not the operating system, but it's actually from their studio Naughty Dog and in The Last of Us Part Two. Before we get to that though, once you're satisfied with your level of zoom, just gotta hit confirm, hit the X, just like that. You may have noticed that even though I was satisfied with the zoom with where it was, it actually moved. And that's because the adjust the display area to movement is enabled. And what this will do is as I'm moving around the menu, when I'm moving around my screen, or if I go back to the sub menu, it's actually going to adjust where the area of the zoom is. So this is pretty cool. It lets you just remain zoomed in, not have to worry about moving it around, and it's always keeping the focus on wherever you are in the operating system. So again, I can just back out of here and it's gonna move for me. A lot of this is gonna be muscle memory though. Once you learn the operating system of PlayStation 5, you'll be able to navigate a lot more easier with this. Now, if I just wanna disable it, simply just get out of that third level of zoom with the PlayStation button and the square button, just like that. Now, I did wanna show you where I felt like PlayStation really nailed the zoom feature. And it's actually Naughty Dog. Just disclaimer, I was a consultant, I was a play tester on The Last of Us Part Two, and I gave feedback for vision accessibility settings, which it's got plenty. Now, as you're already seeing here, uh, just by swiping on the touchpad here, 
I can turn off this high contrast mode, but I personally do like this, especially for gameplay, because I'm able to know who an ally is, I'm able to know who an enemy is, or what's an interactable item. There's also another great feature that they enabled, and you can find this right here in your game, in options, under accessibility, and then under magnification visual aids, and it's gonna be called screen magnifier. When that's enabled, all you have to do is double tap anywhere on the touchpad, and you can use your finger when you're zoomed in to scrub around the touchpad. And this is just so much more fluid, it's much more customizable, and I'm a big fan of this, and I love it, and, and it makes playing The Last of Us Part Two just so much more accessible. And if I wanted to read things like subtitles, because that happens here in this uh, cutscene, I can just zoom in and probably able to read the <laughs> subtitles a lot more easier than I ever would. And once again, you can actually adjust the level of zoom. So if I double tap to zoom out, double tap, and on the second tap, you're gonna keep your finger on the surface and you're just gonna scrub up or down. Just drag that finger, so one, two, and now I'm actually able to zoom in at a higher degree. So that is zoom magnification on the PlayStation 5, and just a little extra on uh, The Last of Us Part Two. Maybe that's a feature you might wanna enable during your playthrough. Highly recommend that game though. It's a lot of fun, the gameplay's great. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Maybe there's other accessibility settings that you recommend, that you tried, or maybe there's a better interpretation of Zoom that you like. Let me know in those comments. Share this video if you feel like someone could benefit from this feature, or just my experience. And with that, I hope that you could see different today, and I'll hear you next time. Bye.